How are you doing everyone? I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in studio today. The chat's just like boom, 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 boom. How on earth do you all keep up? It's crazy. So good afternoon everyone. I hope you're all well. Thanks for coming to studio today. It's been a busy day today. As you can see, my hair's not being brushed. This was my fringe pre-lockdown, so got quite long. Get behind them ears. I hope you're all well. My name is Tony Derrick and this is a lovely studio in Wakefield where you can come and get some inspiration. Come and say hi, come and have a chat, come and take some inspiration with you and have a play with all of the lovely stuff that you have in your stash at home. So if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. There is also a little bell as well that will give you half an hour notice when we do go live. Um, we are live most days if we can. If it's not me, it is some of the fabulous face, Simon, Carly, Claire. So you get lots of inspiration in the studio. So it looks like you're all well. Lots of you had the vaccine, lots of you getting the vaccine. There is light at the end of the tunnel. It's brilliant, isn't it? Good to see you too, Michaela. So let's say hi, everyone. Hi, May, Irene, Susan, Viv, Jackie, Sarah, David, Christine, Joe, Jan, Julie, Nola, Brian. But I really know that that's Mary. Anne, Joe Driver. Some quirky names on there too. So I hope you're all well. So today's been one of those busy days. Um, the thirsty brush orders are out the door, I believe. If not, they are literally just getting finished now as we speak. So thank you for your patience on that one. Thankfully, it didn't take two weeks to get those out of the door like our sale. Um, and hopefully everybody got what they had on their list. So fingers crossed you all get what you have. Um, anything else to tell you about? So tomorrow is the painting class. Are we all excited about that? so excited about it we've never done it before and normally you all know that you can come you, uh, you would normally come to the wakefield studio and we would have me have an evening meal and have a painting class and i know it's not the same um you all get to see each other but it's a step in the right direction so tomorrow we're going to be doing the lovely lovely painting class together if you are watching now for the first time you do not have to pay and you do not have to be a member of anything to get involved all you need is to have a look through your stash and find something that will probably work you're going to need watercolour brush some paints and some watercolour card okay and I'm just going to talk you through a very very simple sort of scene and even if it ends up being a mess, which is guaranteed, probably, you know, we're not um, artists, born artists. It's that encouragement to maybe then, after the class, go and do it again and make it better and improve on it. Maybe change the colour, don't be as heavy with some of the paint and things like that. And I think you're going to have a lovely Saturday just playing. That's what it's all about, just playing. Every Saturday in March, we're going to be doing a new project because it's a National Craft Month is March. And I encourage anybody to pick up a brush. I'll not pick up my blade, but a brush, just a brush. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Leslie's saying her painting's absolutely pants. You know, we've got to start somewhere though, haven't we? So um, make sure you're there tomorrow. I'll be here from about 10 to 10. I'll be all set up and then I'll introduce what's going to be happening and then we'll do it on the overhead and we'll all get a coffee and we'll just talk our way through it. Um, if you just want to watch along, you can. And don't forget, it doesn't go away. You can go back and watch it on repeat, click pause. Um, it's all going to be real time, so hopefully you'll be able to keep up. But don't get upset if you can't keep up. You can pause me, you can go back and watch. But it's going to be a really, really simple design. We'll do a few brush strokes to start with, and then we'll apply some paint to some paper and see what happens. So I hope nobody's been out and spent a fortune because you really don't need to. You will have paints in your stash from some brand or some you know they don't have to be professional paints you're just starting out um unless you do have the professional ones um then that's brilliant but you know we're starting out as card makers so it's encouragement to pick up that brush and what that then will lead on to is you're painting lovely florals and lovely um patterns and designs onto your cards then your handmade cards so when we paint these sort of landscapes and things like that, we're not looking to be artists in galleries and things like that. We're looking to just progress our painting, which will then show when we do our cards and we paint the images on our cards. So I hope that's okay. Uh, let's have a look. Tony, 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 did you not say hello to Enid and Carol? Oh, I'm getting in trouble already. I've only been on, what, 60 seconds? Hello, Enid and Carol. I'm getting in trouble. Welcome. So let's have a look. So Patricia Payne, lovely to see you, sweetheart. Welcome to the family. You will have fun on here, I'm sure. 
I'm sorry I'm leaning so forward to read the messages. My eyes are so bad, but because it's been locked down, I haven't been and got my eyes tested. Honestly, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just getting it moved closer. Is that me getting old? Do we think it's me getting old? So, thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> it's getting moved forward. Thank you. So, um, that's way better. So, everybody's good? Welcome to the studio. Let's do some card making, shall we? So, it's not really a studio where you can craft along as such, but if you want to, you can, and you can pause me at any point. And um, we're going to revisit some of our older, older products as well. So we'll get them on those QR codes. We're going to start loading the QR codes again. So if you have these products, brilliant. You can buy them if you like them. But as always, I do encourage you to check your stash. There'll be similar products in your stash. Their craft industry is huge. And there is always something similar. Like yesterday, I was working with some butterflies. I can guarantee 100% you will all have butterflies. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm getting told off now for not going to opticians. Does this face look like I know, I'm put, I know where I'm putting my makeup? <laughs> I'm really bad. It's a, for, it's a 40 thing, is it? So have we all got a cup of tea? Let's play. So the things I'm going to be playing with today is this lovely one here. Now we launched this about eight months ago, nine, ten months ago. And it was super popular. So if you have this one, brilliant. And we're also going to be using, do you know, the foliage and the flower panels that we brought out, the big ones. We're also going to be using these ones. So there is the foliage. Just pop this down here. Foliage and the flowers. Can you remember these ones where they punch the detail into the cards? We're going to be using these ones as well. So um, hopefully, there we go. You can see them better if I tilt them back. Um, you may have these ones as well. But as always, if you use alternative products, as long as it's something to do with what I've done in studio, post it on the Eureka fan page. We do like you to, you know, attempt the cards, even if you don't have those specific products, you know, we like um, to get you playing regardless. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some white cardstock, just a, a small piece here. And I've cut it to size and I'm going to use uh, the foliage panel, although the flower one is beautiful. I'm going to use a foliage one. So I'm just going to place it onto this piece of white cardstock. Now it is cut to size, she says. I am a little bit prepared, despite it being a hectic day. My son's finishing his last lesson now for school online. And we are having a mini party when we get home tonight. We have sausage rolls and fairy cake and all the stuff, as you can imagine, to celebrate the last day of sort of, not lockdown as such, but last day of being at home to celebrate the fact that he can go back to school on Monday and see his friends. So I'm just running this one through the machine. So I'll just set that one aside. So this is just a white panel and you'll be able to see it sort of punches the detail into the card and this panel makes a great stamping sort of surface although the details there stamp flowers and watercolour them. You get sort of that pinprick detail come through as well. Been using these panels over the week for anniversary cards. Oh, brilliant. We do like to revisit our products and try and do something different with them because we pay a lot of money for them. So we like to try and show different ways. So here we go. Here's that lovely panel. Can you see that there? There we go. Look at that. Can you see those lovely leaves in there? And it pops out the bigger holes as well. Absolutely love this design. So let's just move this one to one side for now. So you will be happy to know there's no stamping today or there might be a sentiment somewhere we'll see so first of all I'm gonna pop this onto a piece of gold mirror card so if you can see I've just created myself like a mat and layer so that gold will pop through those holes see that there so I'll just use a tape pen I'll just have a cup of drink of my tea it's getting cold Can you come? Everybody can come. I love, I'm a bit of a social butterfly. Yes, everybody can come and have a sausage roll. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? If we, yeah. I am excited about all, I am excited about all of that as well, to be honest. I'm excited about my classes because, two gone. Because the classes are not only about the teaching, I just have to use glue. Not about just the teaching, it's also about the social side of things as well. Getting to know people, getting to know like-minded crafters. And that's where I've 
met most of my friends now through my workshops and my classes. So that's nice. And some people travel really far, like, I don't know if Lindsay's on today, is Lindsay Brewerton on? She, hers is about a six hour drive, bless her. Um, but she never misses a show unless something important is going on. So, and now we're all friends, which is really, really cool. But in the meantime, we'll just do them online as free ones. Get everybody involved, hey. And if you're anything like me, nobody's got any money. Don't you lot be blaming me that you've got no money though. <laughs> um, we're all saving up for things, aren't we? Like I'm saving up for a new website, which is nearly done. I'm super excited about that. Uh, Christine says, myself, Jenny and Dave are planning to come to on it. Okay. <laughs> I've only got about 16 sausage rolls though. <laughs> So there we go. Just try and make sure it's straight at the very least. So there you can I don't there you can see that lovely detail on there. So you can stamp on there as well and waterfall it. It's a really, really pretty design. So let's set that aside. Ahead of time, I've also cut this um, banner. So I just popped a little tail on there and you can see it's on the gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my panel and I'm going to try and get the um, design down the panel just in some of the area. I'll probably go. In fact, I'll go up to the bottom. So to get the continued design through theme through my card, I'm just going to pop my panel like this onto, can we see that design there? I'm just going to pop it on there like so, and then I'm just going to pop it on my mat. And then that, what that will do is it will put that decorative detail onto this sort of tail too, so the design continues through my card. And I think that'll look really pretty then. Oh, Dave is a vegetarian. It's all right, we've got some carrot sticks. <laughs> yeah, so in relation to our store, we have had a few questions actually about, you know, what's happening with our store. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? That is really pretty. I love that. So I'm going to take my plate and I'm just going to get the design. Now I'm not overly concerned that it's not going to match because half of it's going to be hidden. But I am going to pop the design on the top as well, like so. Um, so in relation to our store, what we're going to do is we're not going to rush ahead and open on the first day that we're allowed. What we're going to do is we're going to wait till everything is officially opened, which I think is June, isn't it? Um, and that uh, because most people will have had vaccines, um, everything's changing every single day. So I'm going to wait till everything is officially open, which I think will be about June. And then I'm going to put like a coffee morning or something on. So we'll have cake and coffee. So I've got that design all the way through now. Can you see that there? I'll set that aside. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. Oh, I still need this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the lovely daisies, which I've shown you, which is the lovely, it gives you sort of a pinprick detail, and then it gives you the three daisy heads in there. And I'm going to cut this one twice. And I'm going to cut it in gold, and I'm going to cut it in white. So we can sort of create maybe a drop, a drop shadow. Just put these tape pens in the bin because they're no use in the ornament. I'm going to do my own tape pens, I've decided. So I have my die. And I'm just going to pop my die and we'll do the gold one first. And we'll just run this one through. So in that set, you sort of get a smaller smaller one as well which is brilliant for your tags and toppers and it's a lot nice as a seal for the envelope as well which coordinates oh that's another thing i need to tell you about i know i'm thinking lots of things through um tomorrow uh, sunday i'm on create and craft with the sale show um 1 30. so if you've had your eye on anything that create and craft have been selling um, 
you might want to tune in but i think probably most of you watching will have it all <laughs> but if you would like to tune in maybe for the inspiration then i am on at half past one on um sunday so i'm just going to pop out all of these pieces here so you can see how lovely those daisies are can i make them refillable oh i can certainly look at that i say it every time i'm gonna do my own i'm gonna do my own and then i forget but yeah that'd be a good idea wouldn't it some decent ones i'll just pop out all of these pieces so we've got that lovely gold design in there and then we'll cut it again in white. I think that's good to go. We've got a lovely, lovely detailed daisy on there. Just a little piece there and a piece there. There we go. So that's the gold one. Let's just get rid of all of our pieces. I did see that a lot of you had tried the butterfly technique, which was fabulous. Um, and then some of them were really, well, they're all really beautiful. They're all unique in their own way, though. It's, it's really lovely to see how crafters' minds think. We all think differently, and you can see it when it, it's reflected in the cards when you post your designs. It's really lovely. That's the only time I get to myself when I'm sitting and looking through everybody's handmade cards. And if I do get the chance, I try and comment. Um, so let's just cut this design again, but this time we're going to do it in the lovely white. So yesterday we did a white on white card, didn't we? Well, this is going to be very similar, but it has the touch of gold. So a little bit classic. And because we've done a lot of stamping shows, I felt like the last two days I really wanted to step back into my dyes, you know, just to chop it up a little bit. And we have all of this stash and sometimes and I know it, it's the same for you guys at home. Sometimes it's just too overwhelming. It's like, I've got all this stuff, boxes and boxes of stamps and dies. Where do I start? Oh, I have something very exciting to tell you all. I'm not shutting up today. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, la, 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 la. I'm not shutting up today. You'll have to um, tell me off. Tell me to shut up. I don't mind. So another exciting thing to tell you about is... I don't know if you're on our Eureka fan page, but I did say we were going to change the packaging. And so you had inspiration on the packaging, didn't I? So we have been working on that as well. Um, so our next launch, which is later in the month, um, guess what? We have brand new packaging with inspiration on the packaging. Now, I'll just pop these pieces out. I'm just popping out the big pieces on here. We see there. I'm trying to leave all of the other pieces in, apart from the, hopefully none will drop out. You can see that there? So I've left those pieces in. So that's cool. What do we all think about that? So you'll not only have your QR codes, there's not only me here most days, there's the step by steps on our website go and have a look at those uh, we have lots on there of all different cards and then there is the finished cards on the packaging so when you get your packaging home the first thing you're going to be see is that card that's on the front and that is hopefully going to inspire you enough to get your product straight out of the packaging you're not going to be waiting for some inspiration from the design team or me it's going to be in your hand and you are going to be good to go even if you copy the card on the front exactly as it is it doesn't matter you got excited enough to get your product out of the packaging then we're going to play with it aren't we we still have qr codes we're a little bit behind on the qr codes that's the problem um but we are starting to get them loaded back on like this one will be loaded onto these products that we're using today even though they're from old so don't forget to go back and rescan your QR codes because they do get updated when there's staff in the building. I promise you they do. Right, so let's sort of put our pretty card together. I'm going to do a giveaway today as well. Um, if Nathan would be so kind as to pick a lovely lady 
by the end of the show that would be great so i'm going to pick a lovely lady for a giveaway today and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give away all the butterfly dies that i used yesterday which are just here here and i've also got some flower dies as well which i'm using today and i'll just send somebody a little gift bag with those in just because i can and just because you know it's a nice thing to do it might cheer somebody up so what we're going to do is let's put this card together so i have a top folding note card here white one and let's pop our card down now i would use a tape pen as well but they're both bust so we're going with glue yep we will still have qr codes yep 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 they're not going away So I'll just give that a stick down there. And then I have a white piece, which is going to sit exactly on the front here. So it's all exciting stuff. We've got lots of lovely things to tell you about. Lots of um, different products coming as well, you know. Um, and as always, we're going to be here in studio as you all as well. So. So I have, and I have spoken to some lovely ladies today, I might add. Some who have not had the best of events over the last few weeks. Um, some who have had great news today as well. So my emotions have been like speaking to some lovely ladies today. But overall, you know, it's positive and we are getting there. I'm just popping some pads um, on the back of our lovely sort of pin panel. I'm so excited about tomorrow's painting. How many, shall we have a, a little guess? How many people do we think we're going to have painting with us tomorrow? How many do you think? I'm just popping this panel up towards the top here and in the centre. Can we see that there on that gold? So we've got our lovely sort of dimensional panel on there. I don't think Tony saw my question. What was the question, Sue? Question, question. Oh, go down, go down. Question, question. Ah, Roseanne, are you going to do an Academy 3? We will be, re when everybody's got their Academy stamps, we'll be going through Academy, of course, yep. Hundreds, 200. Three, two, three. Oh, so between two and three, I was saying. Oh, between average there, it looks about two and three. We'll see. So there's our lovely panel. So we have the lovely sort of white design that we did. But if you pop out all of the pieces on your gold and you lay it over, can we see how we've got like a lovely sort of white through the gold there? I'm just going to stick this flat onto here. I'll just pop my precision tip back on the top here. I'm just going to put some glue on this gold. And we're just going to sit it on top, directly on top. Now you could offset it if you pop all the pieces out. That's okay too. But I'm not going for an offset look. I'm going for the petals to be solid on the white. And the reason for that as well is um, if the die doesn't cut quite as good as you'd like, and you sometimes can't get those awkward pieces out, can we, because of the card that we've used, then this is a great cheat or a great hack, as some might call it, to stop you from having to frustrate yourself to death, trying to pop out all of those pieces. So let's pop this on here. Get rid of that. There. And then we just line it up we can and then just grab it and place it into place so 
this on top. There we go, can we see that there? That was quite pretty, doesn't it? I'll just hold that up for you. Quite pretty that one. And you could colour, you could colour with your alcohol markers as well. Absolutely no rules. So, I have my lovely panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this panel straight down the centre. Can you see here? I'm creating myself like um, a focal point on my card here. And then, so we're getting there. So the little dies that I was referring to in relation to the giveaways, these little like open fretwork ones, they're really small. Now, you know, I don't normally do small, but these are pretty penny ones and they're perfect for this card. So, and these are a collection of dies that, um, I think these might have come back from TV a while ago and the packaging was all bust and what happens is they go into a special box and I end up with all the sort of off cuts, damaged boxes, this, that and other. So sometimes, but sometimes I do get a little treasure and that's one of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these ones in gold. I've already gone ahead and cut some in white. I'm going to cut some of these in gold. There we go. I'm going to pop them all on. I have no idea if I'm using them all, but I'm going to pop them on anyway. You know, I've got my little bit box down here anyway. So they'll go in there if they don't get used. Come out on a rainy day when I'm short or short of time and I need to put something together really quickly. That's what that box is all about. I'm sure you've all got one. So I'll run this one through. Trudy's saying she has a die similar. Yep, yeah, Trudy, I can't wait to see it, sweetheart. Let's have a look. Uh, Tony can't find the glue. It should be on there. We've got lots of it in stock. Um, who, who asked that question? David. David, we have the stainless steel pins, we have the precision tip, and we have these, and we have the bigger one. I will check when I go off air for you. I'll pop them in FBL if you want to have a look in a little while. But they should be there. You need paintbrush or water brush, or does it not matter? Pauline, anything, whatever you're confident with painting with, um, just use what you're confident with, okay? So if you normally use a brush with water in the barrel, then stick with that, sweetheart. And if that's all you have, then absolutely. So let's pop these ones out. Hopefully these will cut through this nice gold. Oh, they have, which is cool. So these ones are like fret work, so you um, sort of, the, the middles come out. And you get left with like the outline of the flower. Actually, really, really pretty. I'll just pop that on the back of my hand. See that there? Really, really pretty. So let's set this aside. I'll just pop out all of the bits. This gold card has cut really, really well, which I'm pleased about. Sometimes we have that card, don't we? Like yesterday, my gosh. If you'd have seen me before I came to air trying to cut those butterflies. Oh, I tell you. And then my son was saying, Mom, can you print me off this sheet for school? Can you print me? I'm like, Mom, can you poke these bits out and I'll go <laughs> and I will go and print your sheets off. I do, you know, a trade for a trade. I'm just popping out some lovely ones in this one. They've got sprigs with like little diamante holes. So should you want to put some gems on there too? So much better, isn't it, when things cut, cut straight through. But I would say nine times out of ten, it's what card you're using. It really is. To be honest with you, I've stopped buying a lot of cards. I just stick to the ones that I know are going to cut now. There we go. All good. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of an embellishment around our um, sort of daisy. In that set, though, you also get this sort of large daisy die as well. You can see that there. 
get that one as well. So that will be sent in the post as well to one lucky winner. So I'm on with the Navy. I'm on with Navy. Navy tent fold cards. Yep. So I'm just going to pop this panel. I'm just think. I am going to 3D it. I know it's not me, but I am going to go raised today. We're going all out today. And I will send this card to the lady that's chosen today. Or gent, maybe. I have no name at show at the moment, so. I'll just pop this one down the centre here. So you can see where we did that little join there, but I'm not overly concerned about it because our lovely daisy dye is going to um, hide that makings now. I did pop a pad under there. I need to pop another pad under there. It needs double padding because of the raised panel. So I'm just going to pop another pad under there. And it'll be level. There we go. So <clears throat> then we have our lovely daisy circle, which we're just going to pop in the centre here. You see that there? Might do it a little bit higher. So let's pop some glue on here. Now I'm just going to go the centre because um, the overhang. I don't know which way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to put the centre one. There we go. So I'll just let that grab. So this part sort of like a halo is floating, if that makes sense. I'll just let that grab. And then our lovely gold flowers, which we've done in white as well. I'm just going to build around. So I'm going to place before I actually um, commit, as the word would say. So. And the good thing about these is if you are slightly offset them, so you do the white underneath and the gold on top, or vice versa. Let's do, let's do gold on top. Sorry, white on top because our ring is gold. And let's find some more. Oops. Can't afford to lose one. So let's see where this is going. So we'll start with the biggest one and just make sure it's offset enough. So we'll start with the biggest. I'm going to do some plain gold on their own. So it's going to come down here beside it. Mind you, we could have done it. It's just looking a bit busy. So I've decided to come down here a little bit. So sort of like creating that lovely creeper. I'm just filling in those spaces with our lovely foliage with the gold and and I'm going above and under the halo. I'll hold it up in a second because it's all blending into one at the moment. But I think it's way prettier when we get some gems on as well. So 
I'm just placing as I go here. I'm not being sort of. I'm trying not to be everything on a good curve. I'm going to put this white one in here with. We've got a little bit of dimension. Like daffodils, don't we? I've got like a sweep, let's just pop some in the top there, a white one maybe. So it's looking a bit busy at the minute, but trust me when I get some gems on just to separate that design, it'll look quite pretty and we could add maybe a, a flash of pink or something as a gem. They're flowers in themselves, aren't they? I think I'm going to stop there. Let's add some gems first. We can come back to those if we need to. So, um, let's have a look what we've got going on here. Um, oh, look at that. Like it was meant to be. My son has my, gem, my gems. So, let's pop this one in the middle of here, this gold one. These are bigger ones. Make a nice wedding card, nothing else. We've got some smaller ones. Shall we put some of our lovely little like clear sequin ones on the clear ones so you can't see? We'll put some of the smaller ones on. I'm just going to spot some sequins in and around now. I'm just putting the small ones on just to give my card some sparkle. And these are the sparkles from your um, creative box. I'm using the smaller ones. I'm sort of like just scattering them around the hoop of our card. I think we'll leave that there. So um, obviously it needs a sentiment, but I don't have a sentiment to hand. Well, at least whoever receives it or wins this card will be able to maybe send it to somebody. I won't write in it either. So if you don't want to send it, somebody can. So let's just get a tidy, tidy gate. So you can see there we've got that sort of cluster going down. I'll just to show you, it looks a bit busy on there, but let me just show you, can we just go back on just to show you um, how gorgeous it looks if we tilt it. There we go, you can see it's really, really pretty. Is the design on there, so there we go. There we go, so I hope you like that card. Um, it's a very nice wedding card, make a very pretty wedding card or a golden wedding anniversary, hey? So that's the card for today. I hope you like that. Dig out your stash, you'll have flower dies, you'll have bits and pieces that you can maybe use to replace and create the design and that's what makes each card unique as well when you swap them out for something else so oh everybody likes them brilliant so i'm back with you 
tomorrow morning, super excited, 10 o'clock, bright and breezy for a painting class. Then Sunday, creating craft, I think it's 1.30, just check the schedule on that one for a sales show. And then Simon's with you on Monday at 1 o'clock. He's back in the studio, which is brilliant. So the lovely winner of our um, card and lovely dines, dies is Phil Baggs. I hope that's okay, Phil. Phil Baggs, congratulations, you've won this card and some lovely little die sets as well. So well done, sweetheart. Just personal message me on Facebook with your name and address and we'll get them out to you. So have a lovely evening. I'll be chomping on a fairy cake in less than an hour and then probably game Monopoly for the rest of the evening. So whatever you're doing, stay safe. Have a lovely evening. Light is at the end of the tunnel. We're all super excited about it. And I can't wait to see what the future is going to bring for us all. So have a lovely one. See you all later, everyone. Bye.